Hey guys, it's Shauna McKenzie, founder of Best Kept Self with your Monday morning pep talk. I am coming to you from Puerto Rico. First time here, it's really beautiful. And you know from last week's pep talk that prior to coming on this trip, I was working really hard on a project that was incredibly daunting to finish. And we were talking last week about how when you finally take those steps and then you actually complete it, what an amazing, fulfilling feeling it is um, when you contrast that to how you felt before when you were incredibly overwhelmed even thinking about it. And when I finished that project, I realized after the fact that the sound quality of everything that I did that day working hard on this project was not good. To the point that I had to entirely redo all the work that I did that day. Now in the heat of the moment in making that decision, there was a point where I thought, you know what, this might be okay, I could let it go, it wouldn't be terrible, it really would work. And then there was the point of, no, I think I will look at that video every single time, stare at it, and be so incredibly annoyed every single time I had to watch it. And I know as business owners, we are constantly faced with this decision of when do we become perfectionists and when do we let perfection go? Where exactly is that line and how do we avoid getting stuck in analysis paralysis or getting stuck in something that we really shouldn't be putting any more time, money, and energy in? Now, it was the right decision for me to go back and entirely redo it as annoying and frustrating and angry as I was that I had to do that. But I find that there's kind of two things that really help me out of getting stuck or really help me when I find myself in a situation to know if I should go and invest more time, money, and energy in this or it is okay and I can just let it go and I don't let perfection get in the way. The first tip that I give you and the first thing that I do is when I'm faced with that situation, I now pull in an outsider. So I trusted confidant, whoever that might be, you know, a coworker, a peer, a colleague, a family member. For me, it was my husband. I know he will always give me the truth about something, um, whether it's, no, it's fine, I didn't notice it, or you need to redo this. So when I brought him in, he said exactly what I knew at my core, which was, you're going to have to redo this. And I tried very hard not to shoot the messenger in that because I know that was all my frustration. And the second thing that I do is I have pretty much filters set for everything in my life that things have to pass through in order to get a yes or a go on them. And one of my biggest filters for my business in particular is, is this activity or project directly related to uh, revenue generation of some sort? So whatever it is, is this directly going to impact revenue? If so, then absolutely that thing needs to be perfected and done and done well and this particular project did. So my biggest weight when it comes to making the decision of wh whether to keep on spending the extra time, money, and effort is that outside source. So if you find yourself stuck, I recommend you find that go-to person that can help you um, give you the answer that you need to hear because there's nothing better than outside feedback from something that you are so incredibly close to and frankly can't see clearly anymore at that point. And then as a reminder, the second biggest thing is to set filters for yourself in advance so that everything that you do in your business has a uh, kind of a qualification checklist. You're pre-qualifying yourself for whether or not you want to spend that time, money, and energy on it. Um, and I find these two things, without a doubt, always steer me in the right direction so I don't get caught up in analysis paralysis of things or get stuck or whatever it might be. So I hope you find that helpful. I would love to know how you get over uh, perfection when it becomes a bad thing in your business and where do you draw that line on when to be a perfectionist, when not to be a perfectionist. This is something that we all struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis when making decisions. So please leave a comment below. I always love hearing from you. And until then, we will chat next week. Ha ha ha